Blackboard Collaborate Ultra can be added to your Blackboard module and is intended to replicate live small group sessions as moderators and participants can use a mix of webcams, microphones, PowerPoint, whiteboard, and polls to interact. This is distinct from Panopto, which provides equivalent functionality to a lecture, which also allows you to create and edit recordings at your own time and pace. Okay, to get started, the first thing we have to do is get to the Blackboard website. You can do that by going into your web browser and typing in tcd.blackboard.com. That will bring you to this page. Then click here to log in, and from there, put in your Trinity username and your Trinity password, and then click login. On the left-hand side, you'll see the list of modules that you're enrolled in. Click on the relevant module. To add Collaborate Ultra to your Blackboard module, click on the green plus button at the top left of the menu. From there, select To Link, enter Collaborate Ultra for the name, Clicking on the type brings up a drop down menu, and from there, select Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Then click the checkbox to make available to users. Make sure before you move on that you've selected the Ultra version of Collaborate. Click Submit. For simplicity's sake, you can use the default course room for all sessions if there will only be one tutorial running at a time. Click on the three dots on the far right hand side to edit the room settings. Or if you need to schedule multiple sessions, you can use the Create Session button. Give the session a name. If you scroll down, you can then set the time for the start and the end of the lecture stroke tutorial. We would suggest changing the early entry option to 30 minutes before start time, just to give you time to get your slides in and get yourself set up before it starts. Then click on Session Settings to open the options. Just scroll down to the bottom and click Moderators, Supervise All Private Chats. And then everything else is just as it is. You can then click Save. Your session will now be created and you will see it here on your screen. Students can join the session by joining into the module and clicking into the same link, either the course room or scheduled session. If you are using both, make sure the students know which one to join. Once you've created the session, if you have any students who aren't enrolled in Blackboard or there's anyone else you want to be able to invite to the session, you can click on the three dots on the right hand side and from there you can choose Copy Guest Link. This will automatically copy a hyperlink that you can send to anyone and if they click on it they will be able to access your session at the start time that you've set. We recommend staff and students use Chrome or Firefox web browsers if possible. Students can also join via the Blackboard app, but it's essential for instructors to run their sessions using a computer or a laptop. As a moderator, you will need a microphone of some kind. Students can use the text chat if they do not have a microphone. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and choose Join Session. Your system will then join the tutorial. You will then be prompted to set up your microphone. Speak into the microphone and the pink bar will let you know whether it's detecting your audio or not. If it's not, you can click into the tab below and that will show you all available options on your machine. Normally it will be the default option, but if you're having any trouble, you can try the other options. Once you're happy that the sound is working, click yes, it's working. You'll be then prompted for a video test. Don't worry if you don't have a webcam, it isn't necessary to be able to complete the session. If you do have one, you can check it here. Once you're happy that your video is working, or if you're choosing not to use video, click yes, it's working. If you don't have a webcam connected to your computer, it will say it can't detect a video and you can just skip this step. You'll be then prompted to start the tutorial. When you start the session, some tips may automatically open to help you use the system. You can close these at any time by clicking the X in the top right hand corner. So this is the Collaborate Ultra tutorial interface. Let's just take a few moments to look at the main features available. At the bottom, the first icon you'll see is your status and settings. If you click on this, there are a number of options available here, but odds are the only one you may want to use is the away option. This is something you can use just when you won't be there to directly respond to any comments. This may be while you're setting up the session, but if you don't choose to use it, it's no problem at all. To close it, just click outside the window. Next up is the share audio button. 
This button basically enables your microphone to be on or off. So if at some point you don't want the students to be able to hear you, just click on it. When it's off, there will be a line through it. And when it's on, it will be green. Beside that is the share video option. This is for sharing the video from your webcam. If you click on it, it'll enable your webcam and turn green. If you don't want your video to be enabled, click on it and a line will be through it and it'll be darkened. And lastly, there's the raise hand option. This is something your students can click on to get your attention during a class. We would recommend at the beginning of each session to encourage your students to use this if they have a question so that you can notice them and you can pause for a moment and answer their query. Once their query has been answered, they should re-click this button to lower their hand. Okay, from there, let's have a look at the menu on the right-hand side. Right in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little pink tab. If you click on it, it will open the Collaborate panel. Inside, there are four different options. The first one we'll look at is this little cog on the far right called My Settings. If you're having challenges with your audio or video, this is where you can check that the volume is turned up loud enough, or you can change the webcam or microphone settings. If you are still having trouble with your audio, just double check that the volume of your computer itself is turned up. You'll find that option on a PC in the bottom right hand corner under this little microphone logo. Next, let's look at the share content. Primarily, you will use this to share your presentation slides or share your particular screen to show some workings. There are other options available to you that you can research if you want, but these are the main two things you'll be doing. To share your presentation, choose the Share Files option. This will then prompt you to add some files. You can either drag and drop them into that section, or you can click on it and it will open the finder and you can navigate to where your files are and select them. Double click on your file and it'll start to upload. Depending on your internet connection, uploading may take a moment, but just be patient while it converts. Choose your slide deck and click Share Now. Once you choose Share Now, your slides or whatever you're sharing will become visible to anyone who's in the room. As a result, we recommend you do this before the students would start logging in. You may be prompted to choose which slide you want to begin sharing with. Click the slide you want, and on the left-hand side, you'll see it now become visible. This is visible to your students. Beneath the slide presentation, you will see an option to click to the next slide, and you can use this to navigate your slides during your lecture. We recommend you take a few minutes to click through the slides to make sure everything is imported correctly before you start. Also available is the slide number that you are on. If you need to go backwards, just click the arrow on the left. To stop sharing your slides, just click the stop button in the top right hand corner here. To go back to the main share content menu, just click the back arrow up here. And from here, if you want to choose your screen, choose share application screen. This will then bring up an option of which screen you want to share. Choose the one you want. If you're planning to play a video, click share audio also. Once that's selected, choose share. After a moment, the screen should come live and you can operate it as usual. To stop sharing, as before, click the stop button in the top right hand corner here. Next, let's go back down to the bottom and choose the attendees tab. This is where you'll see all the attendees, basically everyone who has joined this session. If someone has raised their hand in class to ask a query, you will see their name highlighted here. If someone else in the room hasn't muted their mic and you want to be able to do it, you will see the microphone symbol. Click on the three dots on the right hand side. If you right click on it, it will give you the option to disable their mic yourself. Not all attendees will have their own microphone. And for that reason, we'll look at the last section here, the tab for chat. Here you have an option to either have a private chat with other moderators who are in the room or the everyone section where everyone can chat openly, including the students. We recommend you leave this tab open during your session so that you can keep an eye on whether people are offering feedback or of any queries they want to ask you. Whenever anyone comments, a notification should pop up alerting you, but always keep an eye on this page just in case you've missed it. We recommend that every now and then you have a little look in here or if you see some notifications popping up with questions, you can just suggest that the students hold on a second as you finish the section you're talking about, and then you'll address all their queries afterwards, much as you do in a normal classroom. The last thing we want to introduce you to is the open session menu on the far left of the screen. Up in the top left-hand corner, if you click on the tab, it will open the menu. 
The only thing you need to use here is the start recording option. It is essential that you are recording the session because otherwise, once you're finished, there will be no record of it. Don't start recording the session too far in advance. We recommend you start it just before you start talking. When you're ready to start recording, click Start Recording. A notification will pop up letting you know the session has been recorded. And just to be double sure, if you check in the top left hand corner, you will see a little red light on the camera. From here on in, everything including the chat conversations will be recorded. When you're finished the sessions, it's important to click back into the open session menu and choose stop recording. That's everything you need to understand within this interface. So when you're finished, you can leave the session by again clicking the open session menu in the top left hand corner and at the bottom choosing leave session. It will prompt you to rate how good the audio or video was during the session. You can choose to or you can skip. It will now tell you that you've left the session and you can close your browser window. To access previously recorded sessions, return to the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra Room in Blackboard, bring the mouse to the three lines on the black bar on the left hand side, click which will open the menu, click on recordings. Don't worry if you don't see it immediately appear here, it may take up to an hour for it to be converted and uploaded. If you can only see recent recordings but not all the recordings, don't worry, move your mouse up to the right hand side where there's the filter by options. If you click on recent recordings, you can change the option to recordings in a range. Here you'll be prompted to choose a range of dates. To do that, simply click on the calendar and choose the date you want. And the same for the final date. And from here, all recordings within that time period will be displayed. To watch the recording, click on the one you want and it will pop up in front of you with a watch now option. If any of your students accessed the session by a guest link, or are unable to get into the recordings, you can choose the three dots on the right hand side and this will give you an option to get a guest link that you will be able to send on to them and they will be able to view the recording from there. Simply copy and paste it in an email and send it on to them. To return to the main sessions page, choose the three bars again in the left hand corner and click on sessions. These are the core essentials you need to be able to understand how to use Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Please check the IT Services Working Remotely page and Blackboard Staff Help sections for more guides, templates, and information on using Collaborate Ultra. For Blackboard queries, please email bblearn at tcd.ie.